Hi Sam! This is yet another RC channel. And today I'll show you a bit of the progress on the body for the excavator I'm working on. But first of all, check out my new hat. It's from Cobsev RC. So if you're into cinematic scale crawling, you sure should check him out. I'll link to his channel below the video. So, the main plate, you've already seen it. There was a question about the dimensions. It's 256 by 369 millimeters. And then I'll show you, I've sort of designed myself into a corner, so I'm not really sure what to do. I might release the parts as is. It will include some gluing on your part, but I haven't decided yet what to do. So the counterweight is okay. And I think the cabin is, it's printable, I've printed it. and. It looks like this. There's a door here that isn't here. And then the fun begins. The side is flat. And it's, it screws down to the plate. These are, uh, it's not interlocking, but sort of holds stuff in place. And it's the same on the left. But there's nothing to hold it in place back here, so I have to add something there. And then this top here is big. And there's really nothing to keep it from sliding forwards. With the support for this one. As you can uh, probably tell, I'm <laughs> not very satisfied with this. So, to make this work as it is, it has to be glued down. Glue them together and glue them to the sides. You can open the top and it will not slide forwards. Maybe add some supports under here for magnets or screws or something. And then you have this one. And this plate here, but it's only supported on the side. There's so much room in here that if everything is glued down and the only thing you can open is the top. You still can access everything. You can easily fit six ESCs and the battery just below this. I promise I'll sort this out and uh, give you the files. And then you will have everything you need to build this big, ugly, but quite strong radio controlled excavator. I promised I would share all the project files or the fusion files if I got to 500 subscribers by Easter. And well, I didn't, but I decided that uh, when I get to 500, I will uh, still share all the files. And the way YouTube works is you need to like my videos, comment on them, and of course share them, because then uh, they will reach a larger audience and there will be more subscribers. So remember to check out Cobsev and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.